it's me, Yenny. Today, I want to do another chill sketchbook session. I kind of felt like trying out something a little bit different. Um, because as you can see, I'm painting some cicadas. Um, I usually don't really paint insects or animals in general all that often. And I guess these are kind of an odd choice for practice paintings in that case. I don't know, maybe not. But, um, I just kind of felt like painting cicadas because I really miss summer at the moment and something that I always connect with summer is the sound of cicadas. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I'm really enjoying springtime. I'm so glad it's finally getting warmer. Um, we're still in kind of like a rainy season over here, so it's very, like, it's more humid than usual. But on a lot of the days, that also makes the air quality better, which sometimes in China isn't the greatest. But, you know, I still have like, there's like this part of me that is like sort of waiting for summer. But I know once summer hits, I'm probably gonna be very annoyed with the heat, not gonna lie. <laughs> but I don't know, there's like something about summer. It's not my favorite season. I probably prefer autumn and spring. I'm like a very mid person <laughs> when it comes to weather. I don't like extremes. But yeah, I don't know. Summer just has that something about it that makes it so nostalgic and it's really fun. Like, I mean, it's probably different for everyone else, but for me personally, um, since my family uh, has moved around a lot, like every couple of years I moved to a different country, um, and we always did that in summer before school started up again. So summer for me was always like a season of change and a season where I got to discover new things and, you know, also going back home for a vacation to Germany. Uh, it was really nostalgic and um, for the last couple of years um, when I lived in Korea and now in China summer has always been accompanied by the sound of cicadas so now <laughs> I guess summer and cicadas just completely belong together in my brain and um, they're like one of my favorite parts about summer some people don't like them they can be really 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 loud oh my god but um I I really enjoy the sound. Like sometimes I will just leave my window open and listen to them. Um, and yeah, I mean they're they're not the prettiest creatures ever, okay? I'm not gonna deny that. And I can see how some people find them scary. I prim I like I probably wouldn't want to hold one in my hand and like have it as a pet. Or maybe no, no, no. <laughs> they're not that cute. They they can they can look kind of scary. But the ones that I picked for my paintings here, they have kind of cool patterns, kind of pretty colors. I don't know what kind of cicada they are. I should probably study Animal Crossing a bit more. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. My first encounter ever with cicadas was actually in Animal Crossing on the Wii. Um, that's a really random fact, but that's how I learned what cicadas are when I was in first grade. So yeah, because they like in Animal Crossing, they like sit on the trees for all of those of you who don't know. And you can like catch them in the game. It's really cute. And they also make the sounds there. So the summer vibes in Animal Crossing are immaculate. <laughs> I blabbed about cicadas for so long that I almost forgot to talk about the actual process. So. <laughs> Um, I'm using some, I believe this was Arteza gouache for the painting and um, I just, you know, used the mechanical pencil to sketch it out very roughly beforehand. I tried not to do the sketch too detailed so that I could like kind of paint a bit more freely. I didn't want to rely too much on the sketch um, and I got my references on Pinterest. I just like typed in cicada and then I you know, picked some pictures that look pretty <laughs> or cool. Um, and yeah, like the first, the first painting, I think I was kind of lost because I'm really not used to painting these kinds of creatures. Um, so yeah, I, it, it took me a while. I think, uh, the first one took me twice as long as the second one to complete. And once I got around to painting the second cicada, I sorta like 
got a little bit of a better understanding of like how I could maybe attempt to paint the patterns and how I could go about painting the wings and stuff because I was you know the first one was kind of like a testing ground the second one is as well of course but um, I was a little bit more confident and I also just like it was like a good warm-up to do the first cicada so for the second one it has a little bit of a different angle going on we can kind of see uh, so the first one was more from above and the second one is like a little bit more from the side um, so we can get a little bit more of like the wing shape and the <laughs> the blobby cicada body shape um, this one has sort of similar colors but they're a bit more like uh, pastel grayish I guess and the wings were see-through so I actually didn't use as much paint on them as on the first one I had a really great time painting these just letting loose a little bit and not worrying too much about how things turned out because at the very beginning um, before I made the sketch I was like you know looking at the photos and I was like oh I have to make all these little details so perfect and everything but then I decided to just sort of like jump into it and not worry too much and just like you know I guess try to figure it out along the way and I think it turned out quite well because in painting like of course if you're gonna make like a drawing of a cicada for your biology book because you got commissioned to illustrate something for I don't know like like an animal book or something you will probably want to have it like accurate I guess but this is just for fun and honestly when you paint something to get the point across, you don't always need to make everything perfect. And I think my cicadas look like cicadas. And I don't really know that much about the anatomy of cicadas or the, the, the different kinds and the shapes and patterns and the colors. So I'm fine with it. And I hope you guys are too. I hope you like the cicada boys. And I'm almost done with the paintings here. Just adding the wings on top of the, the little blob body and um yeah doing the like the lines on the wings was really fun i just used a very fine brush for those and that was like one of the most satisfying parts because it really made the whole sketch kind of come together a bit more i think this is going to be it for this video thank you guys so much for joining me during this short but sweet sketching session Follow me on Instagram at CandyYunny if you would like to see more of my art. Join the community Discord, link down below to hang out with me in the community. And wherever you are right now, I hope you have a fantastic day or night. And I will see you in my next one. Until then, bye bye!